Hi guys. I'm getting excited because in about 60 seconds, I'm going to be joined by three, not one, two, but three amazing actors, the Swinton brothers and sisters. Uh, they are all three of them amazing, wonderful on-camera actors, stage actors, musicians. They, they do it all. One of them is a comedian. You guys have to learn about these kids. So um, I'm excited to welcome them. So um, if you guys are here, I would love to add you to the live. Swintons, request to join the live, Swintons. Um, let me see. There's your mom. I see your mom, but why don't you request to go live with me, y'all? Um, so anyway, you guys, I'm super excited to talk to the Swintons. Hi, Allie. How are you? And you guys can even pop some questions into the comments slash questions area. Um, and I'll be joined momentarily by the Swinton kids. Ava Swinton, uh, we have Maxim Swinton, and we have Alexa Swinton. And all three are amazing professional young performers. So I'm excited to talk to them soon. Um, let me see if I can add them to this live. Where is that feature? I never know. I never know. Uh, let me see if I can add. Ah, there we go. Let me send them a little invite. Let's see what's happening. See what happens with this new ring light, guys? Not good with the glasses, right? Oh, gosh, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. But also, I should know these things as somebody who's teaching acting. But I, I need my glasses, and I don't have contacts yet, so it's a bit of a problem. Um, I need to get contacts. Getting older, people. Losing the eyesight. Waiting for those Swinton kids to come join me today for this awesome live chat. I'm going to talk to them about their careers, everything that they're up to. Alexa Swinton, you guys, has two amazing films coming out. She was also the lead of an ABC show, which was amazing, called Emergence. She literally had the lead role of Piper, which if you saw it, you loved it like I did. Um, and she was fabulous. I've known her since she was probably five or six years old. I've known Ava since she was probably the same age, her elder sister. And I've known Maxim since he's probably four. Um, so I've known these kids for a long time and they are all super awesome. Yes, Sarah Corey asking questions. I love it. Um, yes, I know the questions are, the comments are off and that's why people are going to send us questions in the, um, in the chat thingy there. Um, we have turned the comments off just because some people come on and you know, they're not always, uh, they're not always cool, right? They're not, so we've had a couple of experiences with people who say some not nice things. So we don't want to have that here. It's all about support and love here. Alexa, here we go. So let's see what happens with the Swinton family. Waiting for Alexa Swinton to connect. Yes, hi. Hi guys, I'm gonna say hello and then I'll jump off. Hi, Ina. It's been hey so long. How are you? We're great. We're, I mean, we're, we're good. We're great. <laughs> right. You're, you're as good as you can be during a pandemic is what yes, you're saying. Exactly. Where are you, Ina? Where are you? We, we are, are in Arizona. Arizona. So, nice. um, yeah, it's, um, we've been here actually since December 28th. 28. Lovely. So, 29th. Yeah. Cause we, we came here at 1am. We came here at 1am. That's right. So, um, and it's been wonderful because it's, you know, it's, it's so it's, beautiful yeah. with mountains and I hear you. I was in Florida with my parents for five weeks during the pandemic. And I'm like, okay, um, now I see why I need to live in a warm climate because during yes. the pandemic, it's definitely nice to be able to go outside and to do things and to play sports and just to, you know, I'm stuck here right now on the East coast, although it is very pretty. It's been snowing nonstop, you guys. So you're not missing much, but I, well, I love snow. Maxime was sad because I'm because very happy about being in warm weather. There's this tutorial on YouTube that I watched and it was how to build an igloo, build an igloo and I want to build an igloo now. Yeah. No way. Well, you are a little inventor, right. and we need to talk about that too, Maxine, yeah. because so, you actually, bye, Ina. And let you guys have more space. Say hi to Rolf. Okay. Okay. Love you, bye. Hi, Rolf. Okay. Hi, guys. Where is, oh my gosh, Ava, you are, how old? Okay. First, I'm going to start with thank you for joining me today, you guys. I'm so excited to see you, and I'm so jealous that you're in Arizona right now. Uh, Ava, how old are you right now? I'm 14. Ava, I've known you since you were probably six years old. Uh oh, someone walks in front. Ava, you're making me feel old. I cannot believe you're 14. That's crazy. Yeah, summer, so what I think I was four or five at that summer camp I did. Yeah. yeah what gr what grade are you in? Five. 
Um, I'm in eighth. You're in eighth grade? Oh my gosh. Wow, I missed you guys. And Alexa, I'll go to you next since you're the next eldest. How old are you? I'm 11 and I'm in what? sixth grade. Oh my gosh, awesome. And Maxime, how old are you? I'm nine and I'm fourth grade. Wonderful. I've known you since you were super little too. This is wild, you guys. And you guys have been up to some amazing things over the last couple of years. So I have a lot of questions for you. And I'm sure a lot of young actors out there want to hear from you. So my first question is going to go to Miss Alexa. Alexa, you have two films, not one, two yes. films coming out in March. Can you give me an ex exact date on the release of uh, Somewhere Other Than Now? When is that movie coming out? March 5th is when it's coming out. And I'm so, so excited for it. I'm so, so psyched. It was such, such a fun thing to work on. And it was so, so beautiful because we were filming in Long Island. Uh, we were filming on Greenport. And it was so, so pretty. And also, funnily enough, um, the town over was Southhold, where our merchants took place. The real Southhold. No way. The real Southhold. Mm -hmm. so. so did you did you live on Long Island, or did you commute back and forth? It was only a two-hour drive, so we kind of commuted and stayed there, just depending on what was happening. We still right. remember right. stay there, remember? It's so nice. It's so nice out there, I'm sure. It's beautiful. I Yeah, I, that's amazing, and that's too funny that both of your... So Alexa was the lead, as I was saying before you guys joined, of an ABC TV series called Emergence, which was fabulous, Alexa, and your performance was amazing. Um, and it was another great cast of, you know, actors, um, Donald Faison and um, Alison Tolman and just some really wonderful actors. It was awesome. And now you've moved on to doing some films. So Somewhere Other Than Now comes out March 5th. I cannot wait to see it. I can see it on demand. And where else can I see it? You can also see it in theaters. Which yeah, is in theaters. so exciting. And I'm going to just hop in for one sec to tell you that yeah. one of the fun things about doing this as a family is when we were filming Somewhere Other Than Now, um, Alexa, um, Maxime, and Ava, they all got to come there and we got to really know that area. There was like this old carousel. And we yeah, went the out. carousel was super fun because if you got lucky, you could grab a ring and then yeah. you'd get one free ride. And they and one time I got four rings in a row. <laughs> yeah, and they even ended up what? on the cover of um, long the like the Long Island Big Paper because right. we were at the carousel and they took pictures. So anyway, so that was one of the things about the family that had to come to the DR. I had a timer that just went off. Yeah, so it's it's something they can talk about how they. That is so other. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it, you guys. Um, so so you guys all got to spend time. And so that means you've all grown up basically on sets, you know what I mean? Or on stages. Because I will say that Ava did a ton of our programs. And she played Ursula, for example, in our off-Broadway production of The Little Mermaid. And you were awesome. And you were in Aladdin. You've done a lot of stage productions as well, Ava. So Ursula was almost th almost three and a half years ago now. No, it's insane. It was at the, no, we were going to the Yale. Yeah, it was Yale. Yeah, it was. No, the Yale. No, okay, it was almost like three and a half years ago. <laughs> You're like, Maxime, listen up. <laughs> yes, it was. It was that long ago, and that makes me feel especially old right now. Yeah, but I'm also applying, I, applying to a performing arts program for high school, and I just got into some of the high school I applied to, so I'm very excited. Oh, congratulations. That's wonderful. And I hear you're up to creating some original music. And I know you're a talented musician in addition to being an actor. So um, do you have some music coming out soon that you want to tell us about, Ava? Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I wrote, I'm writing a song right now about everything going on in our world and how media is changing all of us. And that's um, hopefully coming out soon. Wow, that's pretty. I think that topic sounds quite fascinating. I'd like to. I can't wait to hear that. You have to let me know when it drops, because then I'll put out a little story to let everybody know. Yeah. Um, okay. So back to Alexa. Somewhere other than now, we can see it March fifth in theaters or on demand. Correct. Yeah. And it stars the actress that all of you guys know, Kate Walsh. Kate Walsh. You want to tell me Kate, Academy, some, Academy, some of Kate so Walsh's I credits? Like the first few seasons of that and genuinely loved her in it. So it was kind of crazy. Because I Wait. watched it. I watched it Grace. after. So Grey's show. Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Meredith. Yeah, yeah, little little, little show daughter. called Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I actually only watched it after I met her because I was nine when we were filming it. So I was like not. <laughs> I would only have been able to watch it then. But I was kind of upset because I totally missed a chance to, like, talk to her about it, which is kind of sad. But, you know, 
it was really fun. Hey, but you guys are you guys are best buds. You can always email her or something and be like, can you tell me about your time? I'm sure she'd respond to you. That is so cool. I can't wait to see that somewhere other than now next week. Then this summer in July, is this also coming out in theaters or has it yet to be determined? Yet to be um, determined because there isn't much known because it is going to be so far in the future that we don't know. I mean, okay. like in COVID time, it's far in the future. You know what I mean? You know what yeah. I mean? Like COVID times, know. crazy times. So but basically, th this is M. Night Shyamalan's, am I saying his name right? M. Yeah, Night are. Shyamalan's movie, Old, which is coming out in July at some point. We will July also 23rd. make another a, a date now. Yes, July 23rd is what I saw. And then it's starring Gail Garcia, Gail Garcia Bernal, who I love. Yes, and also a lot of other people. There's so many. Oh, my gosh. And we all supported each other while Alexa was filming the movie. My brother went down to the DR. I was FaceTiming her. We were like, And Ava was rolling during the time. She was rolling really so during all of that. So, guys, that film's in the Dominican Republic, Ava, Ava and Alexa? That film's in the no, DR? That did film in the Dominican, which was such a beautiful place. Like, yes. genuinely, I've never been there, but I am going back. It was <laughs> gorgeous. And the beach we filmed on was literally yeah. so, so pretty. And there were stray dogs, like island yeah. dogs that came onto the beach. And so it was really such an amazing thing because a lot of the dogs got adopted. And this one that only had three, like, working legs got adopted too, which was so, so sweet. And nice. Then, yeah. by, by people on the cat, like, in the cast or the crew? The crew. Was, all of the crew. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. I love that story. So not only did you go to the Dominican Republic, which is gorgeous, and you got to film in that idyll idyllic setting, but you also got these dogs adopted, which I think is really cool. And you worked with an amazing cast and crew, of course, who can beat M. Night Shyamalan. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So that's very exciting. And who do you play in that film? I can't say anything yet, but <gasps> when I can, I'll definitely make sure to, think, to tell you it's, guys. Uh, we can tell them why. Okay. Um, the movie is a thriller. So, yes. Um, so... If you notice on IMDb, um, they don't. They have a lot of people are listed as actor, because it's there's a lot of mystery to He's the actual. Mysterious. So yeah, we're trying to guide yeah. the secrets. So. <laughs> Love it. We're gonna keep those secrets then close to the vest here, people. Um, so guys, let me ask you a question. And now I want to just tell you a little bit about Maxime because we didn't get a chance to do that. Maxime has a very exciting project coming out soon on Netflix, a little place called Netflix. You are going to be playing a young Roy Halston in Ryan Murphy's Halston, the miniseries. So that's pretty exciting. And Ewan McGregor plays you as an adult. Um, and one of our teachers, Krista Rodriguez, plays Liza Minnelli. So we're super excited for all of you guys. Tell me, what was it like, Maxime, working with the Ryan Murphy of Glee, the politician, American Horror Story? Um, we, I, I, amazing. Yeah, it yeah. was amazing. But we didn't actually <laughs> meet him that we much. Didn't, yeah, we didn't meet Ryan Murphy himself. Sadly. But, okay. Uh, but it, Let's be yes. fair. But his Louis. director. Um, I did see him in the, I did see him in the hairdresser. Well, well, no, no. We saw Ewan. We met Ewan. But because of the nature nice. of the story, um, they didn't overlap. But it was a really cool thing that Maxime can talk about because it started before the pandemic. So ah. that was in, in December. Well, December, no, it started in February. in February. And so we filmed um, a couple, we, we did the costume fitting, all of that, and it was all set up. And then, you know, it stopped and it didn't come oh. back until December. Our, like, our December of this year. But, so we were super excited that it did come back because, you know, it was of course. so many projects um, didn't happen because Maxine was actually set to do a very big project. A um, very, so very we were big. super excited very, about it. I was super excited yeah, about it. And, um, <laughs> and, and that just, um, it didn't, it, it, you know, we were set to do rehearsals. It was a musical, the new musical at the paper. No, sorry, at George, George um, Street Playhouse. George Street Playhouse. Uh -huh. The world premiere of a musical. And yeah, and we were so excited about it. But anyway, it didn't. Um, but it hopefully that, it'll happen at some point in the future. We have that but it's so true. <laughs> it's so true that you guys got so lucky that you were able to get back to the set, Maxime, and, and finish Halston mm -hmm. because... With this pandemic, a lot of movies are on hold and a lot of TV shows keep having, if they're lucky enough to get back on set, sometimes they have to stop because people get COVID and, you know, quarantine and it's a whole thing, right? It's a whole yeah, crazy yeah. thing. So but the surprising thing is that nobody on Halston got sick even though there were so many people working there. Like, yeah. So many, like in the 
It, it was a lot. And the hot, well, the costumes, and they had all those disco scenes. We were very impressed. I mean, overall, we've been very impressed by the productions and how they've handled this. And they were told on a single case. It was remarkable. I mean, just the, the, the level of detail and care. And they were really like military operations, like just, just right. so well run. They have to be. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, it's a lot of money down the drain and time is money. Yes. And they have to keep it going. Yeah. Um, so that's, this is so exciting, you guys. You're all up yeah. to so many amazing but things. I will also mention that Maxime recently won uh, a, he, he was in a comedy festival, the Palm Springs International Comedy Festival, and you were playing, you were opposite adults, They're not playing, but you were going up against other adults. You were the only child from what I understand. And yes. you won, okay? So congratulations. What was it like, Maxime, working, you know, I mean, performing alongside other adults and sort of competing with other adults. What was that like? Um, I can't really say because I was closing my ears most of the time, but... <laughs> no, 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 it was a very explicit... Some of it was well, no, well, it wasn't oh, right, that explicit. Right. Some of it, I some of it, yeah, some, some of it, no. quite explicit. Maxime can't sit through, you know, often he has to not hear some other people's sets, and this has been, um... <gasps> And what? No, no. Oh, no, no. Come back, Lola. Oh, there's a hub. Oh, did your dog just run away? Oh, my what God. Our dog almost went through. Um, You could bring her here. So basically, um, really, Cavalina's passing yeah. by our yard, and Let, my dog. Just, yeah, the dog. I'm just going to mention. I I'm love Cavalina's, you festival. guys. Yeah, when Maxime comes so back. Cute. So the festival, um, because I do comedy, I'm able to get Maxime into you know, to do some sets and clubs. And that's how it, we write together and he performs. Right. But we write together. So he's yes. really a writer as well. My mom is my is my writer along with me. I cannot I cannot write a comedy <laughs> set with him. But Hold sometimes on. Hold on. see parts, just like in a, in a movie project. One second. Right. My timer, for some reason, keeps going off. And I don't know why, because I don't think I set a timer. Yeah. So how do I stop it without stopping the live? Can I just like minimize you, you for a second? No, so you can like pause the live on your end by just like swiping up, deleting, like just getting right. rid of the tab. Or whatever. All right, hold on one second, second hold on. Sorry, am I back? Yeah, so, so I said, like, uh, the problem was that I have an Alexa that I refer, you know, I always say, Alexa, set a timer for 4.58 p.m. because I'm going live at 5. But every time I say the name Alexa, she thinks that I'm talking to her. So I had to shut her off and put on my phone alarm. It's a whole thing. Anyway. We used to so, have an Alexa. We still do. But it blew a fuse, like a short fuse, because they said my name so many times. And really? So we had it, yeah. Once yeah, oh, we had and then we had to rename it to Echo because it just right. went away. That happened? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You need to yeah. rename it. It's um, good. I'm all good. So, yeah. so basically, just like in the movies, um, you know, where the kids do projects where they can't see um, some of the stuff, like Alexa's on Billions, but she doesn't watch, you know. Well, I watched this single Right, show, right. So, so I wanted to mention that um, Alexa yeah, also is a Echo. series regular. <laughs> Yeah. Alexa's a series regular on a Showtime series, which for those of you that are adults out there may have seen uh, called Billions. It's a great show. And she plays the most amazing actor, Paul Giamatti's daughter on that show. So my gosh, you've worked with some pretty cool people, Alexa, huh? Let me I ask have. you. I'm very, let me very ask lucky. You. So lucky. Um, let me, I mean, also talent, obviously, it plays a big part in it. But can you please tell me, do you ever, when you go to set, are you still young enough that you don't really know who these people are so you're not as intimidated or if you were like my age and you know you knew who Paul Giamatti was you might be a little more intimidated when you arrive to set how do you deal with nerves when you when you wind up on a set with these really big famous actors I don't have them I mean there's still people and obviously that's what I take into a huge account because I mean I've had to work with a lot of them where to me it's just like oh they're people they're obviously characters and I love their characters and obviously they're huge actors but they're still just like nice people at heart are you wearing long glasses? So, sorry. Yes, I am. Right. And I just have to remember that because I feel like it's always very important. You can't, like, start fangirling over them when you're, like, exactly re when you are working with them. And obviously, <laughs> I am. Exactly. So. Exactly. And, you're, and you have to just think of yourself as being one of them. Like, you're all performers, and obviously you're all there for a reason. So that's a great thing to keep in mind, I think, for kids who might, let's say they book a job, you know, and it's starring some really big, 
Hollywood actors, how to stay grounded and not get kind of um, intimidated by those by those other people. So that's really cool. I'm glad to hear that you don't get intimidated by by these actors because they are just people. That's what people forget. They are just people. You know exactly. It's, it, I think that a lot of people tend to forget that when and they like, have like a favorite character in a role. Like honestly, it would happen to me if I met someone from like I met Noah Schnapp. On <laughs> <laughs> who? Sorry, Ava. Who? Um, Noah Schnapp. Oh, Noah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he did a class or two here when he was younger. Who would I? Um, I would so die if I met Chess Bass. Oh, my Blake God. Levy. If I met Blake Levy, Blake Levy, I would literally scream. <laughs> I'm in love with Serena. Like, I just wonder <laughs> who that's happened if it's one of your fans. I love talking to you guys. You guys are adorable, and you're all, you're all amazing. So let's, let's continue on. I want to ask... Um, so how do you guys keep your creative juices flowing you're, without having a stage to perform on? You know, um, well, Alexa, you, you're usually on set. And Maxim, you're on set. But Ava, I know you've done a lot of, you know, performances on stages before. And so, so have you, Alexa, as well. But like, how do you guys keep your, your creative juices flowing throughout the pandemic? So I've been, I got a guitar. Well, I've been using my guitar a lot. I've been just... I, we like perform in our basement of our house. We have like a whole setup there. We have lights. We have backdrops. Oh my god, a bee! Sorry, we have Calm lights. Down. We have shush. We have lights. We have backdrops. We have um, curtains, and it's so much fun because um, it's like sort of like our mini stage. And so over right. the pandemic, we've done tons of virtual concerts. We've done recordings with our friend Josh on his podcast. We've um, recorded music for our YouTube our YouTube channel. So we've just been staying really active by. Take, using our home toward our advantage. TikTok. Okay, TikTok good. Okay, also. good. So you've been able to stay creative, and and how how has it been for you guys? I mean, wh what are your feelings? Of, I mean, thank gosh you have you have each other, and you all are interested in similar things, right? So you have like. I'm not sure about that. Uh, that one, that one, I can't say yeah. it actually is true. I mean, Ava and I can like hang out. Obviously, well, we're very lucky things. because we've watched but a lot yeah. of TV shows. We, we, we during the pandemic. We drive each other one at a time, one at a time. Be able to watch a show. No, we've watched a lot yeah. of TV during shows. During the pandemic, we really, we're very lucky that we haven't been sick during the pandemic. But we haven't right. finished a single show. No, <laughs> we did. We're yeah. watching, we're, we're told about some of the movies we've been watching. Uh, really like, we spent we watched the Seven Seal. We see, oh, The we, Seven Seal. We watched The Seven Seal. Which is awesome. It took us a while to watch The Seven Seal. Oh, we we were definitely procrastinating. I need, but then once I need, you watched it, you loved it. I need like a lot of suggestions. So tell me. So you've watched The Seventh Seal. You've watched Hairspray, which was great. Which which Hairspray did you watch? The original or the remake? Um, Both so are we good. We watched the, uh, I believe we watched the We watched uh, the Kristen one, Chenoweth. The yeah. musical one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, no, awesome. Oh, my God, they're all musical ones. What was I saying? The live one. The live, the live one. one with Dove Cameron. The one with you Dove Cameron. guys, Dove I'm doing a talk with Dove Cameron's Chenoweth. mom. I'm doing a, a talk with, you know, Dove, wait, the one the one that you were talking about that was live on TV? Yeah, Dove Cameron, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Dove Cameron and I, uh, her mom is a Hollywood career consultant, and so we're going to do a live chat on April 7th at night. So anyway, that's, so, that's, so that's going to be cool. Yeah, um, actually, it's going to be more like a Zoom private thing. Yeah. But anyway. Um, We've been spending yeah. a lot of time um, just watching TV shows as families with our, with our grandparents. Also, we started watching, we're watching this French show right now called, called 10%. 10 so we have to just skip, we skip a lot of parts. <laughs> <don't get> <laughs> uh, we, also watch, we also watch Bridgerton and We Joe. began to watch it. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't want to look like I'm letting them watch all the shows. <laughs> Ina, don't worry about it. You know what, these kids. I left the room, I left the, room the first moment someone kissed. So I'm so okay. okay. I, I cringe when I well, see you did watch SNL with his. his. But, um, you know, yeah. you know what, guys? When I was a kid, I watched. Every, to be honest with you, part of what I think made me interested in TV and film and theater was I was exposed at a young age to some pretty sophisticated stuff. And you know what? It wasn't the end of the world. I I wound up really sort of. That's where my taste came from. You know, that's where I learned. You know, Spinal Tap. You guys need to watch Spinal Tap. It's you on our watch list. Everything. Actually, right. Everything by Christopher Guest you need to watch. I think it, it's still, it's appropriate enough. I don't know about Maxime, but I think, the, you know, waiting for, oh, I don't know. Anyway, there's some great films that you could watch that would be appropriate, but also Cats. educational. We watched, Cats. Andrew, we watched a lot of Andrew Lloyd Webber. We watched Webber. Cats, which and I didn't understand anything that was going on. There was a bunch of cats singing songs, <laughs> and then the songs didn't make any sense. I loved memories. My father, I loved memories. my father yes. loved Cats. There's a few beautiful songs in that show. And then oh, when I was a kid, Maxime, I'm going to tell you a story. When I was a kid and I saw Cats on Broadway, okay, <laughs> my friend, my, my parents took me and my 
my friend Josh, and we sat there and the cats would come up. We were in the mezzanine, in the first row mezzanine, and the cats would you know, go, go all over the theater and they, they hopped in front of us and my friend Josh and I just looked at each other and we just started cracking up. I know that's a terrible thing to say and it's not good theater etiquette, but we were <laughs> children. And listen, Cats was not my number one favorite show, although there's some gorgeous Cats. songs that are in Cats, yeah, but it was not my number one favorite. Phantom. Which, we saw Phantom the twenty fifth anniversary. Oh, I, know, I, like, I listened to so many beautiful songs, songs in that musical theater playlist because of the because of quarantine. I've like genuinely like listened to Dear Evan Hansen, Six the Musical. She made a mean playlist. girls. I've literally listened to every single playlist like Hamilton a billion times. Yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm with you. That's so awesome. So you keep learning, you keep growing. Okay. Um, Ava, I have a question for you. I hear you're doing some TikTok stuff, right? Yeah, yeah we are. My mom and my Tell me about, now, I know nothing about TikTok. I'm not a TikToker. I don't know it. I'm too old for TikTok. I mean, I could maybe watch them, but I'm not going to do one. Tell me about it, Ava. What, what are you doing on TikTok? I think, first of all, I think you are never too old for TikTok because me and my mom recently just went viral for making this viral feta pasta. So we, I think our no video way. had like 100,000 views and we're so, so excited. Wow. And every, no, you're not too old for TikTok because everyone's on TikTok. There's like really? grandpas, there's young kids, everyone's on TikTok. It's the app to be. There's all right, I, I'm going to try I it. Also do political activism. I also, I so do what political was this? advocism on TikTok. I really help, I really want to help people learn if maybe their parents are biased toward a view and they don't really know, they just are biased toward it because of their parents. I want to maybe help them learn to make their own opinions and to help really teach them. Wow, cool. So what's your name on TikTok? How do we follow you on TikTok? My TikTok is just Ava Swinton and my mom's is Ina Swinton. That's where the video, video is. Our video is literally on. Ava Swinton. How cool. Well, your mom is braver than I am. I'll tell you that. She gets up on a stage. She does comedy. She has no fear. I'm, you know, I'm a little bit more reserved, but I'm going to watch you guys on TikTok because that I'm excited. She has a fear of us like sleepwalking and like falling off stairs sometimes. So I don't believe <laughs> that. But she does? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 yeah, like, I think I sleep walked once. No, that one was in May. So guys, on one more question about time. social media. One more yeah. question about social media. So, you know, you guys are on social media and it's a it's a necessary thing. You know, it's a, it's a fun thing to do, right? Instagram, TikTok, all of this. But how do you deal with, do you ever see negative comments or things? And how do you deal with the negative side of social media? Who wants to take that one? Um, okay, go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> so our, my mom, my recent viral video did get a ton of negative comments like tons of um oh i don't like her she is she's not funny no to, not to me toward me for me <laughs> right but, but but a lot of positive ones but too. also more many po many but, positive uh, ones. and so the right. way i thought about it was that yes people commented that and yes people like those comments but out of the majority of people who saw the video not even like one tenth of the people like the comments so i thought that i was like who cares about them you're doing your content and by putting yourself out there yes there will be haters and oh well yes they'll hate but they're probably just hating because we had the guts to go make the video and put it out there and it did well and they didn't so it's honestly so you have to have a thick skin right ava is that something that yeah. as a performer you have to have a thick skin right there's always, you're always bad reviews and bad right. bad review and you just have to like forget about them think about the good ones I love that advice. I think it's wonderful. So think, so just ignore those negative people and just look at the positive ones and that's all you really can focus on, right? I love that. I think that's really important for young actors and young performers. Um, guys, tell me also, I have very, so many questions and I'm not even getting to ask all of them, um, but give me a second because I wrote some down and I just want to make sure that I ask all of these questions. So what was the audition process like, Alexa, for emergence and then also for these films like how many auditions did you go on what was the process like <laughs> not eight um so emergence was actually quite funny so i went in for the obviously during pilot season i went in for the first edition i i spent so my mom and i were supposed to go to um what was the festival again? Which one were you supposed to go to? Oh, oh. Sundance. Oh, Sundance. Oh, right. Sundance. Sorry. And we, we both had projects in it. We both had projects in Sundance. Um, oh, wow. And so we we were supposed to go, but my mom totally forgot about it. Well, actually, so we but, spent the yeah. weekend that we were supposed to go on Sundance working on Emergence, which honestly the pushed us on the, on the audition, which pushed us over, and I think that's definitely what got us. Well, we worked. So, I think one thing that I think you could talk about is how hard we work, actually, because... I think we worked pretty hard. No, no, the audition process. So we, 
it really like you get what you put in in a way. So sometimes you don't have the time to work so hard, but right. sometimes you do. And I think that was a funny one because we were doing just like now because now it's pilot season again. Right. Um, you know, and again, whatever like it we is. We literally right got a hundred auditions in the past two weeks. Yeah. So yeah, oh. we like four auditions this weekend. Four. So you talk wow. So, so so wait, tell me about that. So Alexa, when you have four auditions come in and they want them pretty quick, they want a pretty quick turnaround, right? Yeah. How do you memorize your sides or do you commit them to memory or do you just learn them well enough that you can like kind of look at your, you know, how do you do it? I mean, my how do you do it when you have so many? And having a good memory has definitely helped me with the memorizing because I just go with my dad and we like speed run the lines until I have them fully done. And then, um, which is definitely helpful. And sometimes I'll just like kind of half, half remember them. I sometimes I kind of half remember them. And then I'll, when I start working with my mom, I'll finish like that because my mom and I are the ones who do that. Who do the we don't, but why don't you mention, we don't start memorizing right away, Jessica, at all. You no. know, we, we okay. Tell, a, tell me what's yeah. your process. What's the process? Okay. So why don't you first, yeah. first, we just read the script together and we kind of like break down. First, we just read them once. Then we kind of break it down and start thinking about like, our choices, what we want to, like our main goal in the thing, the middle of beginning end, uh, beginning we, middle end. Yeah, we really here. think a lot about the story. Like mm -hmm. we probably spend half the time doing the audition, maybe even more, with the script. So I okay. think that's something that a lot of people don't spend enough time right. on. And when you hear great actors speak, and a lot of people speak, you spend. All, you, so we do the same thing for the audition. We we definitely spend time with the script, trying to understand literally every single little thing that gets mentioned, you have to know. You cannot like be general. So it avoids the generality that a lot of people do. When we feel like we understand it, we start putting it on its feet. But I never focus on, because I I'm co I coach Alexa. So, okay, great. And, and all of them, so. Well, you're doing a great job. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so of course, because I mean, I, I can do it. And I bring in some people, like I bring in my mentor sometimes to help. Right. Like, for some of the, like, when, once we were doing well in something, I'll bring in some people, but still to work with me. Right. So what I try to do also is, so we start putting it on its feet and discovering a lot of things. So there's never that pressure to memorize. Right. Um, until, like, we even you will remember, you will, It'll come to you if you yeah. know where the story's yeah. going, if you understand so, the character yeah. and the objective yeah. and the intention, so the obviously. Four, but having four was a challenge even for... Right. Um, even for Alexa, who did like an incredible job. And we try to just prioritize and see which is the hardest. Like which is which one what we had we had four different we had a Friday morning one and then we had two Monday mornings and one Monday afternoon. So we right. sort of started looking at them and seeing what pieces can we do, what will take longer. And we I think we attacked the hardest one first this weekend. And well, we did we did the second. Well it's sort we of like did, so we actually did well, we started, we did the easier one first for Friday. Right. Then we like started on the hardest one, but we shot a piece of, there had to be a song for one. So we got that done. So we sort of just looked at it all together. And luckily they're all four very different genres. Do you want to mm -hmm. mention the so genres? So we had one, yeah. we had one like thriller. Okay. Yeah, right. So we had, we had one comedy, one thriller action. Thing, one thriller. sitcom. One mm -hmm. sitcom. One thriller. One thriller. Wait, wait, wait. One sitcom, one thriller, one drama, one historical. And one musical. And one musical. And one yeah. musical. And I love the musical. I want to be in the musical so yeah. horribly bad. Now, is but it a, mu a, a musical, a movie musical, or is it a yeah, movie TV? Musical. Yeah. Very so cool. it just Very made cool. it a little bit easier because we can, like, you know, we were like, okay, let's do the drama first. And right. And the ones that felt like they could be easier, we, we let a lot of less time for it. But, and we did them one at a time pretty much. So you analyze the script beat by beat. You understand what your character's intention, objective. How do you start to add um, little character choices that you make? I mean, how how does that happen? How, what, what's your process for creating these characters? Um, Maybe it just comes naturally. Maybe it's something you don't. You're so good at that you don't even no, know. It's like a natural. I think it's both. I think it's both. I think things. it's definitely both. I think that I I obviously read it once to myself when I start thinking instantly. And I as you got as Alexa got and older, then, right? as I got older, I started thinking a different differently because when I was younger, I used to be like, oh, this is just me in a different situation. But as I've gotten older, I started to think of it as different character as different characters because it's more fun to work with and more fun to do. And so I think right. that definitely going through the script and analyzing things and doing a little bit of research where research is needed all develops the character, which I think is what we've, what yeah. we've been doing. But I, and I, we also like, you That's know, awesome. there are the natural behaviors of Alexis, you know, that we put right. in obviously because it has to be you because it has to, you have to bring yourself out. 
But right. then of course, we if we try to be truth, we try to like, you know, honor the intention of the writers as well, to the extent they have something very specific in mind, you know, there might be a gesture that you decide on, but then you let it go. Like, so when you're actually doing the tape, you, start practicing you rehearse, rehearse, you rehearse, rehearse and then you let it go. So we have like a process that we do. I love we, it. You know, but I, I yeah. love that you understand that you have to bring yourself to the role and what makes you unique as an actor. Like I always say to people, Picasso, for example, he had his own hand, right? You can, you can usually, usually always tell when, they're, when somebody is doing a fake Picasso. And the reason you can tell is because the artist has a, their own certain hand and their own brush strokes that they bring to it. And there's only one Picasso. There's only one Alexa Swinton. Nobody else can, you know, make the choices right. that you're going to make. So you should bring yourself to the role 100%. And comedy is wonderful for that. Like what I love about stand-up comedy, and I'm actually having Alexa just, you know, Honestly, do some writing. One of the hardest things for me is like going up on a stage and talking about myself. Right. Like I just like I just. But it's not yourself. That's no, the interesting I know. It's thing. Always too. a character. Yeah. It's always a character. But there's like right. There's just some things that I just can never do. Which well, the reason stand-up not is never. nice is because no, no, you know what I mean. Like like for personally, like like Maxime, he obviously has a character that he built, but like from real life experiences, and that for me is something that. I just feel awkward with, I guess. Right. But, Are you but, talking about comedy now? Are you talking no, about being comedy, a stand up comedy? Stand up comedy. Stand up comedy. comedy. Stand -up comedy. You're right. No, that's stand -up what I mean. Stand up comedy. comedy. Stand up comedy has almost nothing in common with comedy. No, no, no. Okay, guys. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Let me finish my point. The reason it's not in comedy when in stand up. Love this. Oh, well, actually, you rehearse stand up a lot. I think there's a lot in comedy. Yeah, but stand up is like one chance. Stand up is like a comedy play. But what my point that I was making is the nice thing about stand up and what you learn from stand up is that you are the most valuable part of the act. Like, it has to be you. And the more you you are, the more interesting it is for the audience. And it's a little bit, it's different in a role because there are things that you have to do to be truthful to the story, but it's also the same. You have to mm -hmm. be, it's, it's those unique things that make you as an actor, you, that yes. will bring life to the story because mm -hmm. it, that's what the writers are paying you for. They're, if, otherwise they could have anybody play the role. You know, it's, right. it's like, they want they want you to bring you to the to this story. So that's I think an important skill that I, we always emphasize that, and it lets a little bit of the stress off from preparing because, you know, it's like it's, you're not trying to be somebody else. You're not trying exactly. to imitate another actor's performance. You're bringing exactly. yourself to the role, which I think is yeah. so important. And you can um, only and, do what you can do in any you know, right. You can do what you can do, so you can work hard and prepare. But at some point it's easier to let go of it. You know, if you're just like, okay, mm -hmm. well, I did me, I did, I did the work and it's right, fine, you know? Yeah. Right, right. And how do you guys deal? Okay, so this is a great question. That leads us to another question. How do you deal with, with rejection? Because it's a natural part of this business, right? We're not going to get every single dingle job that we auditioned for. That would be unrealistic. So what are some of the things that your mom has taught you or that you have just learned on your own, you know, as to how to deal with that rejection that's a part of our business? Right, so... We went to this thing from like a SAG AFTRA, I guess, yeah. like meeting with um, Norman Lear. It was like a really cool thing. So we saw his, we saw a, a documentary, and then we saw him talk. We met him. Love yeah. that. Met him. And then, Love that. So basically, one of the things he said that he said that has gone him through the business that my mom and I've taken to heart, my family as well, is on next over over next. Over next. Sorry, I always yeah. get confused. <laughs> over next. And as soon as we finish this audition, as soon as I'm done, as soon as I do my sleep. I leave. I just finished. We it. actually talk. even say it. We say so you say the words next. over next. Okay, over next. Moving on. And if one yeah. of us starts, if one of us starts talking about it, sometimes because sometimes it's hard, the other person will say over next. Right. It's always <laughs> right. It's always, you have to do it if, if you if you let yourself get neurotic, like oh, I, you know, that's what happens to a lot of wonderful performers who aren't going to make it in the business because they leave the room and they're like, oh, I could have done that line. This yeah. why did I do that? And I reverted back to this, and and then they beat themselves up or they obsess over it, and then just they're never gonna they're never gonna make it because yeah. they they get in their own way. You get in your own way. So over next, I love that. And Norman Lear, who better that's to take Norman advice Lear. from yeah, Norman his Lear? Credit, his credit in line. <laughs> Wow. But we awesome. loved it. And we I met him. It was pretty amazing to meet him, right? Maxine, mm -hmm. we even have, we have photos of them um, with him. And no, I was like six. So yeah. completely different. But I think that's the most special we, thing. Yeah. It was I think that's special. the most amazing but thing it's that hard. you You know, it's, it's, it's hard. And I think you also have to be careful that the kind of things you say over next to are not like, if you didn't work hard enough, then that's an important thing to know. Well, next time I'm going to work yeah. harder. 
Right. Or, you know, there, there are things you could do better, like be on time or whatever, wash your hair. You know? Right, right. <laughs> you know, right. Those, 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 but whether, but other, what? I'm totally personal time. No, I'm me. I was thinking, I did the audition yesterday oh. with my hair. <laughs> so you're talking about ah. me, sorry. <laughs> no, it's just a career. Well, right. I guess it's both of us. You're all auditioning, <laughs> so it gets me. confusing. You have three, you have four people there who are actively auditioning. It's crazy. Yeah. So... I yeah. So anyway, so that's the thing. So it's the type, but but things like beating up on yourself, that's right. like over next. You can never you know, can't, you can't do, that. do that. Can't do yeah. that. Cannot do and that. You'll nice, never make yeah. it, right? But, I, I, but, but but there is a difference. Like you can you can obviously like reward yourself sometimes and give yourself like small things. Like I got a cake pop from Starbucks today because I did do the four editions. So it wasn't obviously because of that. It was kind of just like you, can you had a break. It. I did have a break, and I was like, I want a cake pop, so I got a cake pop. Which is yeah, you, yeah, you need to, you know, you do put in the work and you need to reward yourself for that. Yeah. Even if it, even if it doesn't mean you don't get the job, it's not about right. that. It's about the process, right? Mm -hmm. So that's amazing. I love that over next. That's fabulous. I'm going to tell all of my students about that in the future. Mm -hmm. um, what advice, guys, do you have as young actors, for other young actors out there, what advice do you have for them? And <gasps> yes, gonna, we, I just there's a that. family of javelinas. Oh, I love yeah, Should we show what it looks like? I'm yeah, obsessed. I love them. They, oh, they look like pigs, but oh. they're actually part of the are rat family. There? I know oh, a lot about javelinas. Where are they? Javelinas. Okay, okay. Can you see the javelinas? No. Where? Okay. Oh, no. There was like a family. They of were outside. Oh, I missed it. Okay, we're back. We'll, we'll show oh, you next time. Yeah. I love, okay, I love that, though. I love that. Yeah. Arizona. There, one time I was in Arizona on a vacation and I came across a javelina and I swear I became obsessed with them and I started to try to find them wherever it's, it's, it was. Honestly, the one sad thing about here is that it is so surrounded in nature that I just feel so bad when I'm here. I hear my oh. husband, John, laughing in the oh. other room. Are you listening to this, John? Because he knows yeah, it's no, true. They, he knows I'll go like, chase down javelinas. It's funny. There's all these, ha there's a family of javelinas. There's quail. Coyotes. Yeah, coyotes. We hear them yes. at night. Yeah. There's a quail. Like, Lots of coyotes. Really? We had like, like 50 quails come over yesterday. And it was so cute. And that. It's so pretty. Um, one time we ate a quail in Denmark. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. We you did. can. Ah! You can eat quail. You can eat quail eggs. You can eat quail. I can eat quail. I can eat quail. I can eat quail. I can eat quail. My dad ate the brains of the quail. Whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. Yeah. Sweetbreads? What do they call that? It's a chicken. It's not an animal. Yeah. It's a bird. It's a bird. But it's an animal, too. I mean. Wow. That really hurts. Listen. We're human. We we eat animals, some of us. Okay. Let me ask you another question, guys. Yeah, you all eat animals. You are? You I are? am. She's vegan. Wow. You eat fish. I'm not vegan. You're not vegan? Let's be clear. I eat, I, I eat, you eat fish. fish. Oh, sorry. You're not vegan. You eat fish. She eats fish. Okay. She eats fish. She's a pescatarian, I think they call that. So, all right. Do you know that I'm the opposite of you? I eat everything but fish. And I'll tell you why. Because I love no, I fish. I don't like fish either. I don't like <laughs> we fish. For, we force I don't eat really. Let's be clear. I'll eat shrimp. I'll eat shrimp. You know, and I'll Never eat a clam. Okay, shrimp are really good. Vegan. And I'll eat mussels. I love them. All right, you guys, I have questions for you about acting, though, for okay, all. Okay, for all. Okay, questions about acting. So what is something that you wished you learned sooner or that you wish you learned about this industry? Is there anything that you wish you had learned at a younger age, for example, although you're pretty young? But That's hard because my theme started at six months and Alexis started Oh, my God. I, oh okay, my God. six months officially. Yeah. yeah, so I started. So was there was there something that so Maxime, you basically grew up in this industry, so you probably wouldn't know. But Alexa, is there something that you wish you would have learned earlier about this industry that might have made it a little easier? Or I was three when I started. She was three. She was two. Yeah, and I've ah. been in the business. You know, I've been acting. So I think they had some, you know they had um, somebody in the house. So it's let's hard. see. Actually, do one thing. I always, I I think that I should have forced myself to do this sooner got my mom at the car, like, told her in the morning when I have an audition before, like, when I'm at school, to get there earlier and tell her it's before, because then we wouldn't uh, be as late. And honestly, no, I think we're, we're not, we're not late. late. No, 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 so wait, 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 wait. You can't be late to auditions. Right. We arrive right. on, on time. time. No, we arrive right on, on time. time. But you have to know, horrible. but New York City is what, no, 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 we're always on time. But as you know, in the theater, on time is 30 minutes early. Right, So for actors, on time is a little late. So, right. 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 So you have to be early. Time. Don't let the, the viewers think that they can be late. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. You, you cannot not. be late. So, 
so. You're so cute. You're so cute. people in front of you when it's like a walk in whatever you can audition. No, no, no. Don't be late. You can't be late. No, do not be late. For no. surely not. That's not going to win you any, any uh, fans. So don't okay. have a Russian mom whose sense of time is like, <laughs> you know, who lives on Russian time. So no, I have, I have help. So my husband, like, my, my dad is yeah, literally the He texts, he will text me, Ina, are you out of the house? Ina, are you out of the house? <laughs> Ina, you have a half an hour. Ina, you have 20 minutes. And then my mom's oh my like, gosh. Ina, get out of the house. You know? <laughs> Do you, do you guys do accents? Because you grew up around uh, Russian-speaking grandparents, guys, do you, can you do Russian accents? Can you do other no, types I of accents? I can do a Russian accent. My brother can totally do one. And I also, I speak and I can read Hello, I'm learning my more. name is Maxim Svirko. Oh. I, am, I can speak Russian too. Oh, I love it. That's amazing. In, in and his stand-up, Maxim and I both, we both do Russian accents in our stand-up. So Right. Maxim, um, uh, he he also sings in Russian. Look, it's Alex like Do you want to sing? <gasps> Lola, get away from there. Oh. Do you hear Wait, those tablets? I, I love the Swinton family because it's just okay, always sing, it's always in Russian. Great, right, right. right. So it's fun. No, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, so, yeah. So Alexa, you guys can do these amazing Russian accents. What about other accents? What other accents do you know? I can do. I can, I can do be Scottish accent. Lad, Elad, I'm a Scotsman. Ooh, very nice. Hello, I am an Hello, I am. Hello, I am a British person. Would you like a cup of? Tea? Would you fancy a cup of tea? Yes, I would, please. Look it up. I, do, is it, uh, the Ava, I can, you could do Ava. I can do. I can do a British. Yeah. Steve can do tea. Hello. Hey, I'm gonna go on Snapchat right now. Excuse me. Ten hours later. I'm, I'm just gonna be a few more seconds. Noah Schnapp. <laughs> Noah. Hashtag Noah Schnapp. Hashtag Dan. Oh my God. Sorry, Stefan. Stefan. Hashtag Stefan for yeah. life. You guys are hysterical. <laughs> so, so Alexa. Um, I can also do a southern accent, and I can. Hi, you have you, have you ever had to me. use an accent in your work, Alexa? For have you ever had to? Yes. Not oh, like any job. Alexa, yet. um, Alexa had a wonderful job. So this is part of the pandemic issue too. Mm -hmm. We had um a great audition come up, and it was very a lot of work we did we did we did, we did five scenes did we do five, five scenes, scenes and six scenes six, six scenes. scenes and it was so challenging and it, it had was such an incredible script. it had a russian accent it was for a lead and no we did idea. super um we worked hard we actually for that one we even marked the accent like we worked hard on that one to make sure it wasn't too heavy too light you know because it was a drama and uh and we were in it was we were doing well with that, and then it just died because it was one of those. Which honestly, I really a pandemic it. thing. It's yeah. such an incredible project. Yeah. Well, and hopefully so it'll come back, guys. Hopefully it'll, yeah. you know, maybe it'll resurface, and and we get to see you use your Russian accent. Yeah. That would be nice. And I think for Maxime, it's been really. Um, I think it helped him win the Palms the the festival because yeah. a right. few of the jokes are he imitates my father, my mother. <laughs> And uh, and even you have a puppet. Actually, Maxime even had a puppet. Mr. In his, Cheese. In his winning set, there was a puppet. So you yes. can see wow. why he would win. Because who can use a puppet? I mean, right. Mr. Cheese. Right. Hello, you were I'm Maxime. Mr. Maxime, you were also on a show. You were also on a Steve Harvey's show. What was that called? The, like an inventor. Um, little big shots. Little big okay. shots. Jake, what? Where's what? Where's what? Where's what? What no, was no, no, it no, that? Maxime, Maxime, you gotta come back. He's running around. It's okay, the Ina, you can tell me. What was okay, it I'll that he you. did? on Little Big Shots. Okay. How did he get on this show? Well, actually, Little Big Shots is a super interesting um, story because he was looked at it like, this is actually interesting because you could sort of see about how you form an act. Because uh -huh. the Little Big Shots thing came up when Maxine was like three or something for the first time. Four, four. Or four. And we had to and do I'm it. trying to do beatboxing. Well, well, but the reason he was dead, we, we weren't sure what he could do, but we went to like see a friend in a show and Maxine fell asleep in his little baby carriage. And like the show was very avant-garde. It was like, a, I don't know what it was, but at one point there was like somebody doing this crazy beatboxing. And Maxime picked and it Maxime up. And Maxime woke up like in the middle of this act, you know? And then and started on the way doing home, it. Right. On the way home, like he was four and he started beatboxing. Oh my gosh. And I was like, and I was like, you know, being a great momager, I was like, oh, I think that's something, you know? So yeah, then, <laughs> then I was trying to say no. cats and dogs. So then, we, so then we, we learned about it. You know, we didn't just rely on what we knew. So then we like, we studied a couple of videos. We learned some beatboxing. And then when they asked us what act we wanted to do, Maxime was like four-year-old beatboxer. But this is a funny <laughs> story because they loved him. Like we met, you know, it's like Kim and, and there was a couple of casting people and they're amazing. Um, but then the, they were like, we saw the next, like one day after we had our big session of some sort, 
I saw a little ad um, and it said, beatboxers wanted, um, professional level. Wow. <laughs> no, no, you're no. Like of meaning like, or like real, you know, meaning Maxime was, he was wonderful and super cute, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't, right, that he's, he's, but this right. is a good story. So we're like, okay, great. No matter, doesn't matter, whatever. Like always, you know, one door closes. But, another. One day I started but a year, with Legos. yes, a year later. So Maxime, the whole year later, it was like, in the meantime, he like loves Legos. I actually, I actually yeah. used a Lego set that I hated the most. Well, Maxime is an amazing builder. He's been like building since he was, okay, one sec. He's been building since he was like, tiny and Maxime was always drawing buildings and designing I mean he's we have um, my husband's father's an architect my dad's a builder anyway right so um so a year later I saw I think it was like on Facebook or something and they were like looking for little big shots um kids that like um technology right or like building or something and so I said to my I said to Ralph I said you know why don't we just I'm like you know it's a year later we know the people you know to our manager I said why don't right. we just like submit Maxime again so this time we needed a new act because he wasn't going to beatbox. So we said, oh, he's like a builder. He was a builder. And he is. Anyway, right. So long story short, we pitched, we pitched a new act. And really, he was a builder. So it wasn't like we were inventing something. This gets back to the yeah. other point. Yeah. I yeah. Was, I, I, of course, I, I have built many inventions. Yes. But, but, but this, the, the, uh, that was the first one that worked very well. All the other ones, they got to the final stage, but then they just <laughs> yeah. completely broke. Yes. Yeah. Super confusing. So, he built, was so what did you correct. build? Can you say what you what built? What I built was a machine that um, a Rube Goldberg. Goldberg. Dog. It's a Rube Goldberg machine. He was oh, sitting in class. Sadly, my dog wasn't able. Sadly, my dog wasn't able to come down the stairs. So we had to throw him the ball and then cut it to there because he wasn't able we, to go down the stairs. Yeah, in the video we had to. It, <laughs> yeah. So, so long story short, um, Maxime already had that talent and already had that right. interest. It was really just a matter of like really being yourself again, right? It was like, he just, we- So I think it's a, a good lesson here is that you, you should also pursue other things because mm -hmm. those talents that you may have, maybe you never know when they're gonna come up for a commercial, for a film, right. for a TV show, yes. you know, being and a builder, who would have thought, right? And that was an incredible experience. And it's actually like an excellent and example. I thank you very much because I learned about Earth Cafe. Yeah, and, and I, yeah. and I, I mean, kind of nice this. Season. Season. Alexa and I mean, Ava. I see this. Yeah. If I if I had not discovered Earth Cafe, I would have not considered moving to LA. Well, it was it know. was really fun because Alexa and Ava all came to be at the show. I mean, it was an incredible family experience. We met right. all the it's other so families, and there was actually two people from our town. Oh Unbelievable. no way! From our, that is but then, too weird. But we also met some amazing girls. Like there's a girl named Charlotte from Spain She's that we so, became friends so nice. with, and she was one of the finalists on The Voice a couple of years later. Oh, wow. So we met Americans America's Got Talent (AGT). And okay. we were still in touch with the parents. We met a boy who was a golfer. Like, we met the coolest Okay, Tommy right. was amazing at online golf, too. Like, he's literally amazing. Yeah. He kept on getting holes in yeah. ones, and it took but, me, like, a few parts. But to finish with yeah. Maxime and this thing, so we pitched, we just, you know, we, we, it's like about trying again. Like, it wasn't a big, it wasn't a big deal. Like, it was like, mm -hmm. oh, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We had a new skill, mm -hmm. and, a, and a very good skill. And when we got to California, you know, we, we did rehearse, you know, we had to rehearse a lot, you know, you had to build it, you had to explain the machine. So there was actually a lot of um, acting skills involved. Right. You had to memorize your script about the machine, but then right. you had to use improv because on the stage with Steve, right. um, you didn't know, they didn't give you, he's a comedian. you the questions in advance and he's yeah. a comedian. So we right. prepared, We I coached Maxine for like four days in a row. We would go to Earth Cafe. And almost, and only half of the coaches were used. For the other half, it was completely, um, it was completely autopilot, not autopilot, it was question. No, I know, so he yeah, didn't use, so we prepared like a hundred questions. Right. And almost none of them and, were used. And only, but, but ten, of, but a few of them were definitely used, and Maxime answers. had great answers, and then half of it was fully improv, where, you know, it was really just Steve and Maxime on stage. My favorite right. one was when I said, uh, when Steve Harvey asked me where I learned how to build the machines, and I said, real, I, I was like, at summer camp, and he said, "What kind of summer camp?" And I said, "Summer camp." And he and said, what no, what kind of camp? And he said, "Summer." No, no, you what, you said camp. you learned it in camp, and he says, "What kind of camp?" And you're like, "Summer camp." <laughs> right, right, and right, everyone right. laughed. So anyway, so the point is, improv classes are a great thing yep. to do. Like, there's lots of skills that come up in all of this stuff. You know, right? And, when and, you're auditioning, you need to use improv yeah. skills very improv often. Improv is a huge skill. I think you improv when 
and you don't even notice. Like when they're talking, you, you need to randomly think of something at a random yeah. moment. You have to be able to Stand think fast on your feet. I mean, right. and that's super important also if you're a stage actor and something happens on stage that wasn't planned, you have to right. know how to oh, get I back to- Oh, I have a very good story of that. Yeah, you have a great story. When I was in make-believe- um, so Oh, you were in make-believe. Yes, so tell was, us about there's that. A play, so there's a, there's a, there was a play that I was in, I think in fourth grade, which was what, two years ago? Three years um, ago? It was in 2018. <laughs> and not, and so three years ago. I saw the show. Um, yes, we had some other students years, in it. Right. It was great. Yeah. Um, and so I had, I actually had three other kids in it with me, which was so, so fun. Yeah. One of the things is, so we had like this huge laughing fit on stage <laughs> once during a show. During a show. Right. And on set, like, during like, a there? special show. No, you weren't. Oh, during okay. a special show that had like the subtitles for people that were hard of hearing. And oh. I. Oh, felt... that's right. <laughs> Oh, I remember that show. I remember I feel that. so bad. Uh, so we just started laughing, and I mean this when I say this. I was laughing, and then the other person started laughing, and then we just started right. laughing. The other, and there, it was like three of us, right? And so the other one had to just be like, and she had an improv, and then I tried to improv my way out of it, but I just couldn't stop laughing for no reason. And then we had listen, that happens. You know, when you're a kid, I used to laugh uncontrollably all the time with my friend Jenny. Oh my gosh, she'd get us into an elevator. The two of us would just. Nothing funny was even happening. We would just no. start cracking up and we couldn't no, stop. I, I mean, like bar did or something like that. <laughs> Wait, okay, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be kids if you didn't say that, right? Hey, right. I was being real. I'm not You're like so... an immature nine, six year old. No, right, it was, exactly. It was, it was funny for me. <laughs> and right. so I started laughing, but they started laughing. But the point is, they incorporated it into the oh, show. Wow, it was a great it show. Worked out. Right. It was very funny. I think you. <laughs> You learned an important this. lesson about improv that day. Um, you guys, this is so exciting. Can you tell me, uh, I want to know a fun fact about each of the children in the family that people may not know about you. And then I want to ask you if you have other exciting projects that you want to talk about. But first, let's start with a fun fact. Maxime, what is a fun fact that some of us may not know about you? Uh, um, I own a business, it's, but I cannot actually know you I have a business, but is. I cannot say the name of it. But tell it what kind of business. It went live yesterday. Yes, yeah, so it went live yesterday. What is it? What is it? So basically, he made it. He started. He um, is an owner of a game on Roblox, which is like a game platform. So um, basically, he has, he he people work for him. He's got a what? couple of employees. I'm his co-owner. What? So I get, I get money. Yeah. What? He you need to send them. me this information later on. A gaming yeah. thing? A gaming platform? Yeah. But I can't, I sadly can't send the information for Because he's, he's, he's in because I, don't, I don't want anybody to know my actual age so I can still make money from the game. Right. Because yeah. I want to pretend I'm 18 so I can make money because you can convert convert the in-game currency. To well, right now it's money. not making money. It's just fun. But I It's just make, fun, I right. I five Robux per day in order to enter the program. Listen, you're going some, you're going places, kid. That's all I got to say. So that's pretty awesome. You have a company that oh, you just also, launched a yesterday. Oh, and business. Which, um, He's on Fiverr. I'm, I'm on Fiverr, but I will be using. But I um, I actually he wants to design things for Fiverr. Yeah. Fiverr, you guys, where Fiverr. people pay you five dollars? Yes. Okay. Well, okay. through his dad. Uh, his dad is on Fiverr for Maxime. Maxime's not on Fiverr. He's <laughs> and my my, right. my 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 Fiverr account name is Max to the Max, but my actual account name is not Max to the Max. <laughs> he is like I don't know if you should be saying all of this. <laughs> yeah. Why are you saying your account for Fiverr? Oh, because it's not my account. It's Dad's account legally. I know. No, I, I know it's Dad's account. I just do the work for it. Oh, so are you asking All right, Maxine. Me to the Maxine, yes, this is I wonderful. Am. We've learned enough facts. We don't want to get anybody yeah, into yeah, any yeah. kind of hot water. Anyway, it is my husband's account. So Maxime is going to be working for my husband designing. Um, if people want like a game design, so Maxime That's is going to so be that cool. as a little side hustle. Yeah. Awesome. And then Alexa, I love actually, it. Alexa's a game designer I too. Orders yet, Why? So I, I'm you guys. How did you learn how to do this? STEM classes? I know nothing about this stuff. Hey, Alexa, what's a fun fact about you that people um, don't? Oh, by the way, my actual, I forgot to say, my actual Minecraft account You don't need to say the account name. No, no, I'm going to call it. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to call it? Well, you can say I'm that later. Call they could drop fire. Fire. I'm going to call it Fire Max 8632. Okay, okay. Why? Because I was just want to. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Amazing. Um, so yes, I'm Alexa, like, a fun I, fact. I love to draw, and I've been like recently really taking that up. So during quarantine, um, I've been really starting to draw way more and more, and uh, my parents actually got me a whole bunch of drawing tools for Christmas and stuff like that. So that's what I've been like doing. That's a fun fact. I don't know many people know about. I Alexa love that. Alexa actually I love 
can I say how, no? Okay, I'm not gonna say anything about no. how you draw, but no. What do you mean? You you love you love to draw and since she was. Oh, I can you, say that. You can do that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Alexa, one of the things that also when we used to go to auditions, when from Alexa was at a really young age, I would always give her a journal, and so she's drawn like we have so many journals. I mean, my, I would usually have my journal, and then she would draw in it. So it's fun for me because I have my. You can see, right? You can see the different drawings through the years. So she's, yeah. Yeah, but, but it's like something she loves to do. That's her own thing. You know, nobody's saying and you so have to do It's really another creative pursuit. that, And that's a lovely one because you can do it, you know, in a pandemic, you can do it by yourself. It's a great creative outlet and probably a stress release, you know, too. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. So good for you. What about... What about Ava? What, what? You want to say, um, you say Ava, Ava, but something she'd want people to know. My sister, um, okay. my sister's like over doing crew, which is what I was going to say. She, my sister Rose, and that's like one thing I don't know many people know about her. She's like extremely, she loves crew, which is Competitively. Rowing. No, she's competitive. a competitive oh, rower. crew, as in the crew, as in like, I got it. Okay. I was thinking I she likes to be on the crew of a film set or something. No, I thought she liked to be a part of a crew. Because crew is another word for cult. Is it? No, it's oh, not. Is it? Yep. Oh, okay. Crew. It's, okay. She's so she's a rower. She's a rower. She's a yeah, rower. She works really hard at it. Um, Ava's a hard, very it's a, hard. It's worker. a really yeah. hard sport. And my dad actually did it when yeah. he was in. Like, so he when he was he in went college, to, he went to Yale for it. He went to and Yale he was better than some Olympic people right now. Wow. That's super like, awesome. Like one fifteen or something. I was thinking of starting. My, to, I, my sister's split is two forty five, and she's Whoa. amazing. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Do you guys have a that's hydro? Okay, wait, do you guys have a hydro at home? A hydro, one of those rowing machines? Yeah, we do. At home. At yeah. home. Not I was thinking home. of getting one of those. It looks like so much fun. It's wonderful. I've never so done hard. it before. The thing is, my sister will yell at you if you don't do it correctly. Yes. She, she will. will you have to do it correctly. It's super hard. You can do it. You guys, it's trying to so get Alexa to do it. You guys, it's been so wonderful seeing you all. Let me see. Hold on one second, okay? Um, one person asked a question. What advice? Sarah asked. What's your advice for agent self tapes? Any advice for agent self tapes? And then we'll wrap it up. Thank you, Sarah, for asking uh, that. Sure. Uh, for agent self tapes. Wait, uh, let's ask what they mean. Do you think she means yeah. uh, um, a self tape so that you can get an agent or a self tape for a product? How do you maybe make a self tape at home that looks professional? I'm guessing right now, but that's maybe yeah. what. The thing I know you need or is a light. to send if to you agents. Have good you need lighting. good lighting. You need good, good lighting. lighting. Good lighting and a non distracting background. I've trained background. them well. You, need a, and you shouldn't a, have you, you shouldn't have a ring light and have glasses, yeah. right? All you need a ring light and glasses. A don't go. <laughs> and a light. That's so all what need. we use. You also need like a non distracting background. Nothing that can actually take away the attention from what you're doing. Because if you have like people in the background or even just like some javelinas, like, you know, yeah. like you, you can't have, have javelinas. You can just have right. like, a, like a like even a couch with like stuff on it is distracting. Yep. You can have something like very simple, like a full on color, like no like no patterns, just something or, straight or like a just a, just a got it. Normally what you Alexa? Go for what blue or green? But blue gray. would be better. No, not green. Cause green. green. No, not green. Yeah, blue or gray. Alexa, what? And in terms of when you got your agent, I, I bet you probably don't remember because you were probably real little, right? But do you remember? I remember how you got your agent? mom and I. My mom and I practice a song. I think how much is that doggy in the window? And um, and a Alexa was really little. She was. I three. was like three, and I. But uh, I'm I, pretty sure. Like, yeah, I was, we found this. Um, I just I don't even know why I thought of that song, but I had seen it like somewhere, and and um, oh, we used to sing it when we walked around the block. So again, this is a good example of it was just something we were doing, you right. know. And it wasn't like oh, let's find something that's not Alexa. It was already what Alexa liked to do. And right. we used to sing this song, so then we just leaned into it a bit more. And we were like, we then practiced the song, and we, you know, we, we learned it better, and we, we rehearsed it. So um, she, she did have a meeting, but I knew of this manager from um, when I was in high school. My, my friend, who is still a really good friend now, um, was with the same manager. So it was- what, Can we say the name of this manager? Um, well, it used to be uh, it used to be Shirley Grant Manager, right? But it's switched right. over to yeah. Edge. It's yeah. switched over right. to Edge Talent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, Stephanie but, and Dave. Um, yep. Love them. Exactly. Steph and Dave, who we love, and uh, such an amazing. Team. Yeah. And so, but we knew of them because my friend in high school was with that manager. Right. So it, it made sense for us. But the point is, like, in terms of what to do, for, so we didn't have to do a tape. We went in person. Now everything's right. on tape. Right. And so I think that the, still the key takeaway, I still think, is really the most important skill you can have is, you know, being yourself 
and mm -hmm. also really wanting to do this stuff because you can't be forced to do these things. Right. You know? so it sort of has to be like what, what you like to do. And then you lean in and you work harder and you develop discipline and skill and support because you need a lot of support. So I think you, you need for sure people around you that support you and oh, know, resources like classes. We always we're I'm a very big um, and in fact, I've recommended a lot of people to Jessica because oh, when people ask me, you know, what can we do? And I get that, I get that question like 10 times a day, you yeah. know? Right. So often I just, I, you know, and they sort of like, so I wouldn't just recommend someone to an agent because it's, there's no right. point. Like you really have to show that you're going to be responsible, develop the skills, you know, meet build the foundation. The I mean, build, build the foundation, foundation. learn, learn exactly. the tools, you know, you need the yeah. tools first to be able to then get an agent. But I think and one of the things that you, I, I would say, if you were gonna submit Sarah, for example, in a tape to an agent, you know, if you're a great singer, perform a 16 bar cut, if you're, mm -hmm. you know, maybe do a comedic monologue or maybe do a sitcom scene with a great reader, yeah. you need play to have to a strong strength. reader working would, opposite you. Yeah, I would always play to your strength in general. Yep. You know, figure out what yep. you're, and then you could always develop the other what side. Do, what you do, I think, is so if you're, you strength originally, and then whatever you wanna do, start challenging yourself. But you have to start off with something that you are comfortable with because it is your strongest thing, and there's no problem with playing with your strongest thing. Why, right, why right. Not? so if comedy's because not your strongest suit, suit, if you're more of a dramatic actor, do a dramatic monologue or a right. dramatic if you, like, scene, if right? If you are really good at thrillers or horrors, yeah. then go for but, a thriller or horror. But also, I do think, um, I think one of the secrets we do have is that we do, um, you know, I think comedy is a big skill. So I think for, I think in general, if comedy work, every script, every audition, um, you know, you should always look for the funny. I think that's really important. Even like, even and that's a big we do have some even amazing. Or like um, uh, anything, anything. There's always something that has to be funny because guess yeah. what? It's part of the Even in a thriller, even in a drama, there's really gonna be moments of laughing. Yeah. I think you should always find, and, and I think that's a skill that I bring to it. You know, I always make sure that we find that. And even right. because, because I think that and it's also unique, like your sense of humor, what you think is funny. Again, that's a way of being you. So mm -hmm. it all comes back to the same principles, which is, you know, gain the skill, but be yourself. And, and I think humor, because it's such a unique thing, is always mm -hmm. a nice thing to develop. So I think that's, that's all. And, and there are true. very specific rules also, like things that you can learn. If you're, if you're dealing with a sitcom script, you know, where are the misleads? Where, yep. where's the joke? Where does it, like, yeah. you know, like, how to make turns. And that's by the way, Sarah, thing. Uh, sorry, and, and that's Jessica, that's, by, that's straight from stand-up. Because in stand-up, um, mm -hmm. you know, mislead and all those, like, you know, the punchlines, you have the rule of three, all that stuff. So that's like, because a lot of stand-up people write sitcoms. Right. And that's, and I think, it, you know, that can be learned very easily in a, in a yes. workshop. Like we do these great workshops with these mm -hmm. Disney and Nick TV directors from LA yeah. and they literally teach you how to yeah. analyze the scene and how to make the right acting choices. And, yes. you know, Wendy we Barone actually, there's we, one we actually, shot left. We took one with Wendy. So yes, we're she's fans. awesome. And Maxime did, for example, da, um, he did Annie with um, Rebecca. And that was a great experience. He was, remember you were oh. dad in Warbucks? That right. was like a long time ago already. Yeah. yeah. That was and a long time ago. Yeah. What we wow. loved that was like one of my favorite things that Why we did. Why is this like Daddy Warbucks? Uh, we did Warbucks. Annie Kid. Like Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Um, oh yeah, I have such fond memories of that because they were so cute. They're still yeah. so cute. They're still adorable. You guys, I love you as a family. You, Thank you so much. You're yes, all that was finished, tell me wonderful. Really and funny. we've had I have a lot to tell of you, I've been in I've been in rooms with, with all of these kids. I mean, I love each one individually and they each bring something really amazing to the table. Um, I've literally known Ava since she's probably five or six. Yes. And, and it, she was always the sweetest kid in the classroom. She was always like so warm and lovely and just, just like a loving human being. And Alexa would come in and she would just be so professional and she knew, she knew her stuff and she had, you could tell that she, she really knew what she was doing at a very, very, very young age. You know, very self-possessed. And Maxime, I've seen you do a million things and you're always wonderful and adorable as well. Always a wonderful actor. So I love seeing you guys and, and you're such a lovely family and I wish Thank everybody you. the best. And I'm so excited for all of your success. So you. tell me when Ava's song is gonna drop. Tell yes, me when we, we can announce Alexis' film. And when, mm -hmm. Maxime, when is that net coming out on Netflix? When is the Halston um, miniseries I coming out? Do we know? Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we don't know, but it, we don't know. We're actually we're like always googling to see, but it's in it's in editing now. And Alexa's uh, old. Should
should be coming out on July 23rd. So. Right. Right. I, I, I'm, guys, I, I mean, really, really, don't, really whatever you do, do not read the graphic novel because it will completely ruin the movie. No, that's not I'm not going to well, read it. I don't, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so, but it might well, not be well, all of it. I'm not sure the movie is. Um, uh, the movie is going to be rated R, just saying it's definitely going okay. to be rated R. Okay. I have read the script, so I, I do think I'll be able to watch it with a little bit of eyes closing. <laughs> a lot of eyes closing. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. They can't. <laughs> that's an interesting thing though to have kids in the business who are doing stuff that sometimes yeah. is a little bit more mature and for the parents out there how you kind of handle that that's yeah. a whole other talk you know that you and I need to do one I day. would love to do it but after the pandemic I think Alexa could handle the scene in old no totally because there's just one scene that I have because <laughs> right. she's, okay, she's been subject no that's it she's kidding but uh, but because after you know Sorry, after having to fast forward through Bridgerton, I think oh, you're, right. Right. you're right. I love the plot of Bridgerton. I think that it's so good until like, don't reveal. Don't reveal. No, no I, I haven't it. seen it yes. yet. I, I haven't seen it yet. Sense in the final episode. I think that Bridgerton was really good, and then it and then and then it was so great. Well, we she had, had to skip a lot. Yeah, of we it, passed so forward. forward. So I, I, I can't wait to see. Well, listen, guys. <laughs> it's been it's been so fun. Where's Ava? I need to say goodbye to Ava, but she Ava doesn't... had to. She, she, Ava she had crew work. She out. had to go. She had to. Oh, she, she has crew. PT. Oh, she, she was in PT. That was crew. Right, Rolf. You took her to PT. Oh, yeah. Oh, and all my right. husband back in there. Um... Hi, Rolf. <laughs> We miss oh, seeing you guys in yeah, person, she, and I can't wait. Yeah, come in and just say bye. I can't she, wait till the um, day when we can do this in person again, and we can be in a theater together or be in a classroom together. Hi, Rolf. How you doing? Hello. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Arizona. I'm happy to do a, like a, it'd be fun to do a parenting one with other parents, because that's always fun. Love that. I love that. I think you have a lot of great advice to give to these parents, so let's talk about that, okay? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> you guys, it's been great seeing you, and it's been great chatting, and congratulations once again on all of your successes, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. I know it's going to be Thank real bright. Thank bye, you. Bye, Maxine. Bye, Ava. Say goodbye to Ava. Bye, Alexa. Wait, get back, get back. Get your head down. Get your head Thank you so much. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. And day. Ava Bye. says bye. Be safe, okay? Okay. okay. Thank bye. you, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks for watching, yeah. everyone. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Follow Alexa at Alexa Swinton. I almost walked Yes. yes. Yeah. Tell us. Tell Max your Instagram. Tell your Instagram. My Instagram is Maxine Swinton. And Alexa is Alexa Swinton. And our viral TikTok, well, it's sort of viral, but it's is at Ina Swinton on TikTok. <laughs> Amazing. And can you tell me about Ava as well? What's Ava, Ava? Is Ava Swinton on, on all of her social? On all of her social. Well, no, is it? It's Amazing. Ava Swinton on it's TikTok. It, it, no, no, it's Ava Swinton on I believe, Instagram. Instagram. So Ava is it, It's Ava Swinton on Instagram. It's Ava Swinton. The, it's Ava yes. Swinton, and she's Ava Swinton on yes. TikTok. Lovely. And she I love really it. would love you to follow her. So if you have to follow one person, you can follow Ava. Well, I'm going to follow I'm going to watch that video right now, by the way. That's what I'm doing yes. right after yes. I get off. And that's on my TikTok, that one. Okay. Amazing. I will go Bye. I will go check it out. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Or day for you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>